folks from Gary and Carlin Monsters Creek Outdoors uh, here along with Hunter Max done once again. Uh, he's going to put some arrows in this target back here with his uh, brand new bow. Uh, we just purchased uh, some new arrows and broadheads for it as well. Uh, he done shot one deer with it here just uh, two or three days ago. So he's going to try to get another one here over the next few days or a couple of days. And uh, yeah, well, I'm going to let him tell you what kind of bow he got. So I recently been working, helped my uh, buddy out, done some drive on stuff. And I worked and worked and worked all week. I just skipped a few days of school to do it too. And my my old bow, I, I sold it because, I mean, it, it wasn't right for me. I didn't feel comfortable with it. And I got to looking at some nice bows and... There was one I, I liked, and it was $1,000, but I didn't feel like spending $1,000. So I found this one. It's a Mission by Matthews. It was a five, It was right at close to $600. So I was like, all right, I want it. So they put it in the layaway and everything, and I had to pay my payments down on it. So last month, I went down there and bought it. And Sunday afternoon, I just thought to myself, because I didn't have nothing to do, I was like, well, I'm just going to get out there in that doors and just see if I can just see if I can kill a deer because it was opening weekend of uh, bow season for deer and this week we're on fall break so that gave me a, it's going to give me a chance to go out there and actually hunt without having to work on school and everything else so I bought it and me and Garen we went to Walmart and purchased three new arrows and broad heads and everything so I'm going to see how good I can shoot today and hopefully Lord, the Lord will bless me with a nice mature doe or buck in the morning. But uh, yeah, you can you can also uh, hunt turkeys here in Tennessee with a bow uh, during the early fall. Uh, during the archery only season for deer, it's legal uh, to hunt turkeys. And we also have a have a shotgun uh, turkey season uh, during the fall. It's gonna come in and probably about three weeks or something like that but uh yeah uh, of course like he said he mentioned we got the arrows at walmart uh i guess walmart's a good place to get a lot of things but the bad part is they owe me thirty thousand dollars for duck calls they're a strange company to deal with when you're a manufacturer but other than that it's all right i guess all right. I believe he got him that time. I think he got him again, didn't he? Got him again.
was shooting a round group of them in there, it looks like. Just got done shooting the target. My arms hurt a little bit, but got everything dialed in and got the broadheads on the arrows. And I guess I'm gonna go for a little while in the morning, wake up real early so I can get to my tree stand and get everything set up. I'm gonna be hunting in my tree stand with my uh, food plot. I have a few does and about three or four nice bucks. One of them's a nice, I mean, he's a big spot, but I'm gonna get up real early, get out there, and hopefully I can kill one in the morning. I've been I've been scouting them out for the past two weeks now. I've been going every single day of the week just to be scouting them. And so I'm gonna try to get her done in the morning. Well, uh, it sounds like his plans is trying to get out and create some some of the great outdoor memories. Uh, sounds like to me, uh, get out take advantage of the outdoors and enjoy it every change that you possibly get and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do so until next time I'm Garen Carlin and this is Hunter Maxidon Mosses Creek Outdoors and I'll see you next time let's go kill him